let's get as much out of this guy as we can because I'm right. taking notes tonight. Councilman, I got to get something. I know everybody's interested in the petitions. That's what everybody's okay. going to want to hear about. However, the reason that I called you, I wasn't even paying attention to that current news going on. I was I was looking through old Jersey journals for some article, and I stumbled across these things from about a year ago. Uh, and I remembered them then, and, I, and then I was reminded Steve Phillip was the councilman that was uh, coming out against these things. And basically, there's a paper in Jersey City that's run by, uh, well, it was run by Bobby Jackson. That's right. And uh, Joe Cardwell. It's called the Urban Times News. And what they had done about a year ago, and I don't think they've stopped doing it, to tell you the truth, um, there is a requirement that public meetings and public events have a public notice. And so uh, these government agencies will send an ad off to a newspaper and they'll pay them to do it. Right. All right. And what these people were doing in the Urban Times News was buying one of those papers, photocopying the thing, sticking it in, in their paper, and then sending the city the bill. That's okay. right. To interrupt you, isn't it supposed to be a major publication? That's, like I wouldn't that's true. That's the law. The law is supposed the law to be. Says a major publication. Oh, go ahead. Okay. The law, the law is that it's supposed to be the major newspaper of record in the right. area. So I in this area, you could either say it's the Star Ledger or the Journal. Jersey Journal. Correct. You know, for all of us, it's the Jersey Journal. Right. So you could opt for another newspaper, but it has to have a regular circulation, which this does not. This is a periodical weekly, I suppose, right, or, or, monthly. or monthly or whenever, right. you know. It's used more as kind of like a political uh, hammer to it like is. club people over the head. So yeah. what the problem with this was when... In fact, when you mentioned something about it, ac according to, I think, uh, Mr. Jackson, your slip was showing. Right. Right. So yeah. his, <laughs> initial, his initial response was that I was a racist. Absolutely. Right? So that is their knee-jerk response. That, the knee-jerk yeah. reaction, exactly. Yeah. That I was a racist because this is a newspaper that's geared towards the African-American community. So, yeah, per your, your point on the rebel rouser aspect of this, yeah. if you look at, let's say, since I've been elected the last three years, so the first time that I got into a little, you know, disagreement with Healy was over his police chief, right? So he picked right. his buddy as a police chief. I mean, the guy has costed us over a million dollars in sexual harassment charges. He yeah. was an absolute disaster, the guy. So when I said, let's get rid of the guy, okay, they didn't like that. But it ended up being that I was right. Okay. You know? Then it's subsequent to that, you know, we had police officers take advantage of the situation at 9-11, right? So if you look at... We read that, too. I mean, it was just, they really, I mean, they extorted money from FEMA, literally right. charging right. overtime. You had people who said that they worked for a week straight with no sleep, and they just yes. charged it, right? So you had millions of dollars, FEMA's withholding it from the city. Wanted, we wanted to, like, actually look to collect that money from some of those police the officers. the entitled Yeah, of, of course. Any reasonable people person. People did work. Any, yeah. any reasonable person. So... You know, of course, you know, anytime you say something that's counter to kind of what the traditional Hudson County political mindset is, these people don't like it, you know? Yeah. But like most of your viewers are, are probably like normal people. So they look at it and they're like, you know what, that kind of makes sense, right? If the police yeah, chief I is would horrible. Say all, what, five, six of our viewers, they're probably. <laughs> well, I yeah. had the other thing now with the, the mayor. <laughs> Wait a second. We're getting way off the track. I want to stick with this okay. and how it involves Healy. Okay. Yeah, but if we can. If I we just want to jump in before he explains. Okay, jump in, but Tony showed this little the, ad. The councilman is doing his job. He caught something. Yeah, that's okay. right. But it's wait. a watchdog. No, this is not, it's not that you caught the ad, okay? And this is this is not the ad. This is a similar one. This one is for, what, the incinerator authority? Right. This okay. For the, and, right. And, 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 Coach, I just want to say that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure <laughs> out what's going on <laughs> yeah, here. Right. So, like, you know, I, let's not give me too much credit on this thing. I mean, you see it, you look at what the city's paying for these things. I mean, we've paid... Yeah over the years, hundreds of thousands of dollars to this newspaper over here. And if you look at it... Which was unjustified. Unjustified. This, this actually coincided, just to, just Mike, as far yeah. as background. But wait, this, this, if you, you can't see it on the camera, but if you look at this, you can tell this is, it's fuzzy. It yeah. was taken from another paper and yeah. stuck in here. It was photocopied from the Jersey Journal, yeah, actually. Okay. And the Jersey Journal said it was photocopied. This, this was actually done when, if you look at the political alliances, when they were trying to make it so that Tom DeGeese had his issues with Brian Stack last year and all that political fallout and the wrangling and the negotiations, you know, all of a sudden you start seeing more ads in this newspaper when Healy's trying to bring people onto his ticket over there. So okay. it coincides. There's no, there's no secret okay, to how Okay, but you're works. talking about not even these kind of ads. There's other ads where that are, uh, it's not a required public notice, but it's a PR ad. Right, exactly. And you were looking for, did you ever make any progress? Because you were looking for a set written procedure that would guide those things. Did we, well, we have a set written procedure, okay? It is in place, 
but the situation is that they have the option as far as advertising in additional places. And if I vote down, which I have, as far okay. as the additional spending on that sort of stuff, in that sort of situation, I mean, I'm losing that vote 7281. I mean, the guys all work for the county. Okay, you know? right. so now you're, you're, you know. you're kind of you're jumping ahead. You know, I, kind of, I had right. an order in my mind okay. how this was going to progress. Right. I like the way you get it. But, all what, out. but what happened, and this is not bombs. the ad. Now, this here is the incinerator authority. There was yes. one from the city of Jersey City. I know that there was a, a n similar situation with the Board of Ed of Jersey City right. where they put their ad in it. They sent the Board of Ed the bill, and the Board of Ed looked at it and says, we didn't order this, and they, they threw it in the paid. garbage. Right. They threw right. it, okay? The city council paid one of these. Okay, or, or go, go ahead. Maybe one I was going to say, no, it's absolutely, you're right. I can't refute. What, what actually happened was that this came out into the, when this was put in there, they sent the bill over to uh, City Hall. And the woman who's responsible for paying and allocating these bills, her f initial response was, I'm not paying it. I didn't authorize that. Right. right? It was a water sale is what it was. So she sent an, a memo to the, uh, to the mayor's chief of staff at the time, who was Carl Soplicki, who sent it back and said, you're going to pay it. Just you know? pay okay. it. That's you know? it. And, uh, right. Now, so but this is where he really comes have in. To okay. prove it. And, and yeah, I vote no, but I mean, there's, there's nine of us. I right. should say Mayor Healy. Okay. Yeah. This is where Mayor Jeremiah Healy came in and yep. said, okay, we're going to pay this ad. It was a bogus thing. It was a fraudulent thing. They stuck it in there. They gave us a bill for something that we didn't order, but we're paying that bill. Okay. Right. So let's put the connection together. you got Cardwell and Jackson. Okay, who are the people that have controlled Glenn Cunningham uh, when he was alive? Yep. They're now controlling Sandra Cunningham. They're controlling Tony Chiapone, and J uh, Mayor Healy is paying them off to appease Sandra Cunningham. For so her support, hoping <laughs> not even for her support, just hoping she doesn't run against him for mayor, right? So here's there's one aspect that I don't know. And I know Sandra fairly well, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much involved she is in those conversations, you know. And my honest opinion of that situation is that the person who was having the majority of those conversations was probably Bobby Jackson, you know. And I couldn't tell you just from my experiences. Now, if you look at where this thing is today, you know, and this goes back to what I said initially, that uh, it's it's now it's published around election time only. It literally is an election hammer tool. Okay. It's not a newspaper. This is this is not a newspaper. It this doesn't come out every week. No. It I comes just, out whenever. I they just need want it. to jump off the subject because Mike could validate this. But it's a money one. maker for it's these guys. I called Mrs. Maker. Cunningham before she ran. She was advised not to do our show. We had invited her after she won. I congratulated her and asked her to still do her show, so the people of Bayonne would know that she represents them and what sure. she was going to do. She also refused. So, okay. the jury's out on Mrs. Cunningham. She has a reply to us to invite Star Show before and after. Right. After she was so I, mean, I would tell you that, I mean, my relationship with her has been certainly somewhat damaged since the, uh, since that uh, campaign for the state senate. I supported Lou Manzo for that. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I like as did I. But isn't it okay to disagree? Because so no, did I. It is. It is. I mean, that, that's the nature of this thing. I just, I looked at it at the time and said that, you know, Lou's got a lot of flaws. There's no question about that. But I thought that he put his heart into it, and I thought he did a relatively he decent job. He has great job ideas. As, uh, as, an assem and as an assemblyman. And you He's know got what? a very detailed knowledge of things, he too. Does. He does. He, he gets into it wholeheartedly. And I've, you know, I've studied some of his legislation, argued with him about it as well. You right, know? right. Uh, so I thought there was merit to the fact that, you know what, that not necessarily just throwing him out for no reason. So, mm -hmm. you know, that relationship with Sandra was a little bit damaged at the time. I've worked to repair it. She represents my area. I need to have a working relationship. And I have of to, course. And I happen to think that. All right. She's well, you just you just whizzed all that away by being on this show and well, we're talking about Well, there you go. This, uh, there you go. I mean, look, news. but the Urban Times News. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to tell you, you know, for the better or for worse, what I think of her. I mean, I have a favorable opinion of her. I think she's got a lot of great assets, and I think that. You know, at times the people around her have been a detriment to some of the quality things that she could do. This newspaper in particular doesn't help her. Doesn't right. help the situation. It's certainly. All I right. Mean, well, you said good things about her. That's not what I wanted to hear. So I'm going to edit <laughs> right that part. No, right no, now. because okay. he's allowed to say <laughs> it. There you That's go. The truth. <laughs> I mean, I. Th this is just. I'm telling you how I feel about the situation. Right. So, but. I mean, when you talk about how this newspaper was used, there's no question that it. I mean, this thing should be illegal, this sort of situation. Now, the, the thing that we get, the uh, the Bayonne Community News, they have that Hudson Reporter, which is more subscribed than this paper, right? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's got a it's regular a weekly circulation. Yeah, circulation. Sure. 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 Thank God. All right, we're 12 minutes into the show. This was going to be an incidental thing. All right, this I is why I called you three weeks ago. Okay. 